It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll be looking at trading psychology. More specifically, how stock trading differs in key ways from a regular day job. Without further ado, let's begin. Stock trading is a performance-based discipline. Like with any performance-based discipline, stress can affect your ability to function properly and thus have an impact on your success. One source of stress for traders comes from external societal pressures. We humans are programmed to conform, but traders are a different breed from non-traders. Thus, there are several key things we are taught from an early age that we have to reject, at least as they apply to trading. If we can't mentally overcome these hurdles, we will be faced with stress that almost definitely will have a negative impact on our success rates. To be a successful trader, you need to take it seriously. You need to consider it a business, even if it isn't your only or primary business. Even if trading really is more of a hobby, you need to approach it with the discipline of a professional, if you want to make money. After all, most hobbies are unprofitable. So if you consider trading to be a hobby, you're already setting yourself up to fail. However, there are several key ways in which trading differs from a regular 9 to 5 job. Since society is structured around 9 to 5ers, we think that whatever deviates from the 9 to 5 ethic is bad, but this is not necessarily the case. Over the next several slides, we'll examine some of these ethics that do not apply to trading and demonstrate how trying to make them fit will almost inevitably lead to stress and lackluster performance. One way in which trading is different from a regular job or business pursuit is that intellect is virtually unimportant. Your success as a trader has nothing to do with how smart you are, how well you did in school, or how many books you read on the subject. Our society puts a premium on intellect and academic achievement, so this is at odds with our cultural values. The truth is that you cannot approach trading the same way you would approach a college course, and if you try to do it that way, you will fail. Trading is not like a college class. It is a business, but it is not like most businesses. In most businesses, you build up goodwill with customers, clients, and suppliers. In fact, some corporate balance sheets even have an entry for goodwill. But with trading, each new period is a clean slate. Trading is impersonal, and that's why you cannot build up good or bad will. Don't personify stocks. Don't grow attached to them. Distinguish between the company and its stock. If you fail to do this, you'll likely fail to be profitable. Trading is a business. It isn't a job. A job is something you expect to go to from 9 to 5 and collect a check every two weeks. This isn't how trading works. In a job, you want to show something for your effort. Most employers don't want you to work all day and have nothing to show for it. But this is how trading works sometimes. You shouldn't force trades that aren't right just to, quote, do something. It's better to do nothing than something if that something isn't right. The key to trading success is to dismiss these ideas and recognize trading for what it is, a unique kind of business, and a performance-based discipline. You need to be stress-free, or at least as close to stress-free as you can be. You need to be a trading machine. Don't let losses get you down. At the end of the day, what's done is done. Live to trade another day. Forget about your statistics and your win-loss percentage. Just focus on the here and now. That's all that matters in trading, the present, and the future. The past is absolutely irrelevant. You need to know if the price in the future is likely to be higher or lower than the price now, not the price last week or two years ago. Don't live in the past. Live in the present with an eye toward the future. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading. Not for novices. Unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit FirstHourTrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.